In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a floating object like a boat, with ocean modifier, so that the ocean water does not fill the inside of the boat, and it's actually very easy to do, if you know how to do it correctly. So let's say we have created an ocean like this, and we have also added a simple boat model here, but the boat is filled with the ocean water, so our ultimate goal is to remove this water dynamically, from the inside of the boat. We have created this ocean from a plane, using the ocean modifier like this. Now in order to remove the water from the boat, we need to first create a duplicate copy of the boat, so select the boat, and press Shift D on your keyboard to create this duplicate. Here is our copy of the boat, let's hide the original boat for now, and select this duplicate copy. Then go to the edit mode for this object, and press A on your keyboard to select all the vertices. Now from the mesh menu, we have to select the option called Convex Hull. It will convert the boat into solid, considering only the outline of the object, the details will be ignored, because we must ignore the details of the boat for our next operation. Now back to the object mode, let's select the ocean, then minimize the ocean modifier, and add another modifier called Boolean modifier. We have to select the difference option here, and in this target object, we have to select the duplicate copy of the boat, or this convex hull, that we have just created. And we can select the fast option for a quick result. Now you can see that a hole is created in the ocean, just where we have the boat, and it even moves along with the animation of the boat, so it's dynamic in nature. But this will work correctly, only if the duplicate copy has the same keyframes, as that of the original boat, or you can set the original boat, as a parent for this copy. Now we can hide this copy in the render, and bring back our original boat. Then let's see how it looks in the rendered view, with the boat animation. You can actually create an ocean in two different ways, and we have several tutorials on this, the tutorial links are given in the video description. And one more important thing to note here is, you need to add this boolean modifier only after the ocean modifier, otherwise it won't work correctly. So please check the order of your modifiers, and keep the ocean modifier before the boolean. So that was our quick guide on how to correctly float a hollow object, like a boat in the ocean, and I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.